What's up, guys, and welcome to the Market Marauder Show. Hope everybody's having a great week. So I'm going over my top penny stocks under $1. Uh, so let's jump into it. Uh, first things first, uh, I do have a Patreon page. So if you like to join a private group uh, where I talk about penny stocks options and have live streams, uh, you can do so. I have a link down below in the description uh, for that. <clears throat> also, if you'd like to sign up for Webull, get four free stocks. You deposit $100 or more. I have a link down below uh, for that as well. So let's jump into it. Uh, first ticker we have on here is ticker sign CTRM for Castor uh, Maritime Incorporated. Uh, this week they touched 43 cents. Uh, so that was their week high for this week. Uh, the market is still open, um, but it's only open for after hours at the time of this video. So just bear that in mind, it's basically closed uh, for the week. Uh, so 43 cents was their week high. Uh, they ended the week at 40 cents. And then after hours, uh, seems like they're going down, uh, went down about one cent and at 39 cents. Um, so overall, they are still bullish though. Moving average 10 is above 15 to 100 and VWAP is above the moving average 10. So those are my indicators to see if a stock is bullish or if it's bearish. So both of my indicators are positive, uh, meaning that it could have some potential uh, growth for next week. It will have to test this 43 cent level, uh, so I'm going to be looking for that uh, for next week to see if it can go back up and test this 43 cent level. Uh, on the channel, I like to give some background information, so let's do that. Uh, background on them, uh, this is one of their recent articles. Uh, it just says they announced a $15.3 million debt financing, uh, which I think is pretty good for the company. Um, it says global shipping shipping company uh, specializing in ownership of dry bulk vessels, and that's the closing through a two of the ship owning subsidiaries of its 15.3 million senior uh, term loan facility with a reputable European financial institution. Uh, so secured by two of its vessels, the loan is expected to be drawn down before the end of this month. The company intends to use the net proceeds of the 15.3 million financing to support the company's growth plans. And I think that growth plans includes uh, buying more ships. Um, I saw recently they had bought uh, just another ship. so. Uh, it's pretty good for them. Uh, seems like they're on the right track for expansion, and I would like to see how they grow in the future. So I'm going to keep my eyes out uh, for ticker sign CTRM for some potential growth. Uh, Stock-wise, going to see if they can test that $0.43 cent level uh, for next week for another breakout. Next ticker sign we have on here uh, is ASRT. Uh, this week they touched $0.86, cents, so that was on the 21st, or yesterday it touched 20 uh, I mean, 86 cents. Uh, today, they ended the week at 71 cents. Um, and then after hours, still at that same level. Uh, they are still bullish, though. Moving average 10 is above 50 to 100. Uh, this is on a 30-minute chart. So if you look at different charts, it may show something different. Uh, so if you want to look at the exact same one that I'm looking at, it is the 30-minute interval chart. Uh, that's just the one that I prefer to use. Uh, but you can use whichever one that you uh, like. So there are a lot of different trading styles out there. I just like to use the 30-minute chart. Um, as well as the moving average 10, moving average 50, moving average 100, and VWAP. So VWAP on this one is below moving average 10, uh, which could show there be some more sideways momentum from them uh, and not really much of a breakout. Uh, but overall, still bullish, moving average 10 above 50 and 100. So going to be looking to see uh, some more volume increase for them uh, coming next week, hopefully, as well as the potential um, movement uh, to test this 86 cent level, uh, which was their week high for this week. Uh, so background on them. I know this article may be a little bit old. They do have one uh, that they're due for uh, as far as earnings are concerned. Uh, but earnings is a section that I like to look at uh, in a company to kind of get a feel for how they're doing financially. Um, so they definitely do have one uh, that's right around the corner. Um, so definitely going to be looking for this one, but I'm going based off the old one. Uh, but they reported uh, product sales of 34.4 million, uh, non-GAAP net product sales of 33.7 million, uh, which for them was an increase of 21, or they increased 21.4 percent over pro forma second quarter 2020, which I think is a pretty good metric for them. Uh, I think uh, would like to see them increase over time with a larger uh, net product sales um, and a larger increase um, for the next quarter. So. Definitely going to be keeping an eye out on them to see if they can do that. Um, now, I do know a lot of companies were uh, impacted by the pandemic, uh, so that may be, you know, an outlook. But this one uh, seems to have thrived during that situation. So 
Uh, not really too worried about uh, how they perform during that time, but definitely going to be looking for some more press releases coming uh, over from this company. Next, we have ticker sign ADXS for Advaxis. Uh, this week, uh, yesterday, or not yet, yeah, yesterday they touched 88 cents. Uh, they ended the week at 74 cents, um, and then they're still at 74 cents now. Overall, still bullish, moving average 10 above 50 and 100. Uh, but and moving average, uh, I mean, and VWAP is above moving average 10. Uh, so overall, both my metrics are positive, uh, which could potentially mean that it may have some increase uh, coming um, on the horizon for the Monday morning trading. So I'm going to be looking at this one for Monday morning for a potential increase uh, based on both of my indicators being positive. Background on the Vaxis, uh, this article came out the 19th. Uh, but they announced a uh, receipt of funding milestone payment under ADXS dash HER2 licensing, licensing agreement uh, with OS Therapies. So it says um, the company has received its first milestone payment um, related to its licensing agreement for ADXS 31 164, uh, now known as OST dash HER2. Uh, to OS therapies for evaluation and treatment of, I cannot pronounce this, uh, in humans. Um, so, it says, under the terms, the amendment uh, rest restated a uh, license agreement. OS therapies in collaboration with Children on Oncology Group, or COG, is responsible to conduct funding clinical style of OS2.-HER2 uh, and uh, recurrent uh, complete of uh, this uh, whatever is going on with this situation. Uh, but, you know, I think it's uh, very interesting uh, that they are in partnership and they changed the name to from ADXS31-164 to this OST HER2. Um, so I'm going to be looking for some more updates from this. This is pretty recent news. Um, but um, one thing I didn't see is what stage they were in in this. So usually uh, when pharmaceuticals, uh, come out, it goes phase one, two, three, um, and then a potential IND or NDA. Um, so hopefully they'll give some more information on that, uh, but still going to be looking at them uh, for some potential movement uh, based on this article alone. Lastly on here, we have ticker sign USWS for US Wealth Services. Uh, this, week, this week they touched 86 cents, so that was their high. They ended the week at 84 cents, uh, but then went down to 81 cents um, after hours. Overall, still bullish, though, for the company. Moving average 10 is above 50 and 100, and VWAP is above moving average 10. So going to be looking for some more movement from this one on Monday for a potential uh, breakout from this one. Background on them, uh, just going to read some of the highlights of their press releases, uh, which is just the top part. So on the 13th of January, so this year, uh, it says U.S. Well Services and EQT Corporation finalized long-term electric uh, fracturing contracts. Uh, and then in November, uh, they had their third quarter 2020 financial and operational uh, results. So overall, going to be looking for some more updates from them since this did come out in November. I'm um, interested to see how their financials are for this fourth quarter uh, that is coming out. So. Going to be looking for some more updates from them, especially from the financial sector, to see how they're growing the company moving forward, uh, because it's very good information uh, on whether this company is going to grow and be above a dollar or whether it's going to stay around this 86 uh, to 84 cent range. Uh, now, those are the penny stocks under a dollar. We got ticker sign CTRM, ticker sign ASRT, ticker sign ADXS, and ticker sign USWS. Make sure you go check out the Patreon page down below in the description uh, for the private group. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.